and I give him the prayers. For he woke me up this morning, and he set me on me here, and give God the glory. I give him the prayers. Again, I say, I give God the glory. And I give him the praise. For he woke me up this morning. And he set me on me we are. Oh, I give God the glory. I give him the praise. Again, I say, I give God the glory. And I give him the praise. For he woke me up this morning, and he set me on me way. I give God the glory. I give him the prayers. Prayer changes things. Prayer changes things. If you never have no reason to be excited, by the message you have heard before, I believe you will be excited by this message. You will be fired up to believe that you can effect changes in your society. Hallelujah. In your community. In a greater proportion through the medium of prayer unto God. Now is the time when we need to get in that secret chamber. And close the door behind us. For he that dwell in the secret place of the most high. Shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. And I believe it is the place of prayer. Hallelujah, today I take the time out to speak to you on the topic that prayer changes things. And the first Bible reading is taken from Deuteronomy 9, hallelujah, reading from verse 13 to 19. Hallelujah, Deuteronomy 9, reading from verse 13. Hallelujah to 15. Furthermore, the Lord speak unto me, saying, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff naked people. Let me alone that I may destroy them and blot out their name from under heaven. And I will make of thee a nation a mightier and a greater than they. So I turned and came down from the mount, and the mount burned with fire, and the two tables of the covenant even in my two hands. And I look and behold, ye have seen it against the Lord your God, and had made you a molten calf. You are turned aside quickly out of the way which the Lord has commanded you. And I took the two tables and cast them out of my two hands and break them before your eyes. And I fell down before the Lord as at the first forty days and forty night. I did neither eat bread nor drink water because of all your sin, which you sin in doing wickedly in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. For I was afraid of the anger and at this pleasure wherewith the Lord was wrought against you to destroy you. But the Lord hearkened unto me at that time also. Prayer changes things. Glory to God. And the next Bible reading is taken from 1 King 18, reading from 41. To 44. Hallelujah. First King 18. Hallelujah. Reading from 41 to 44. And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up and eat and drink, 
for there is a sound of abundance of rain. So Oyab went up to eat and to drink, and Elijah went up to the top of Carmel, and he cast himself down upon the earth, and put his face between his knees, and said to his servant, Go up now and look toward the sea. And he went up and looked and said, There is nothing. And he said, Do it again seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there arise a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand. And he said, Go up and say unto Ahab, Prepare thy chariot and get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. Hallelujah. Prayer changes things. Hallelujah. Second Kings. Hallelujah. Second Kings 4. Reading from 27. Hallelujah to 37. Glory to God. Second King 4. Hallelujah. Reading from 27. Hallelujah. To 37. And I read. And when she came to the man of God, to the hill, she caught him by the feet. But Giasi came near to thrust her away. And the man of God said, Let her alone, for her soul is vexed within her, and the Lord had hid it from me, and had not told me. Then she said, Did I desire a son of my Lord? Did I not say, Do not deceive me? Then he said to give us a gird up thine lines, and take my staff in thine hand, and go thy way. Hallelujah. If thou meet any man, salute him not. And if any salute thee, hallelujah, answer him not again. And lay my staff upon the face of the child. And the mother of the child said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And he arose and followed her. And Giasi passed on before them, and laid the staff upon the face of the child. But there was neither voice nor hearing, wherefore he went again to meet him and told him, saying, The child is not awake. And when Elisha was come into the house, behold, the child was dead. And laid upon his bed, and he went in therefore, and shut the door upon them too, and prayed unto the Lord. And he went up and lay upon the child, and put his mouth upon his mouth, and his eye upon his eye, and his hand upon his hand, and he stretched himself upon the child, and the flesh of the child waxed warm, and then he returned and walked in the house to and fro, and went up and stretched himself upon him, and the child sneezed seven times, and the child opened his eye. And he called Giasi and said, Call this Shunammite. So he called her, and when she was came in unto him, he said, Take up thy son. And when she went in and felt at his feet and bowed herself to the ground and took up her son and went out. Prayer changes things. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the next Bible reading, hallelujah, that we will look at, hallelujah, is taken from the book of Jeremiah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In Jeremiah 29. Jeremiah 29. Jeremiah 29. 12 to 14. Hallelujah. Reading from Jeremiah 29. Hallelujah. 12 to 14. Then shall ye call upon me. And you shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord, and I will turn away your captivity. 
and I will gather you from all the nation and from all the places whither I have driven you, said the Lord, and I will bring you again into the place whence I cause you to be carried away captive. Amen. Glory to God. Prayer changes thing. In the whole and the New Testament, this is so pronounced. It is clear to see that prayer changes things. Countless, or should I say, numerous of account in the Holy Bible of this profound truth. A well-known story that we are all familiar with. Peter the Apostle in Acts 12 verse 1 to 17. Hallelujah, the prayer of the saint causes God to dispatch an angel to set him free. There is so many Bible quotations to reinforce that which I am now saying. It is a timeless truth that the church believers have to again become familiar with and know that God wants us as a people. Hallelujah who are called by his name to communicate with him, even through the medium of prayer. Second Chronicles 7, hallelujah, reading from verse 14, glory to God. Second Chronicles 7, reading verse 14, If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, will I hear from heaven and will forgive them of their sin, and I will heal their land. Hallelujah. So God has promised he will hear from heaven when you pray. He will forgive you of your sin when you pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he will heal you learn when you pray. So prayer makes sense. The reason why we need to pray, it changes things. It causes the Lord to intervene into our situation. Hallelujah. Let us look at Isaiah 38. Hallelujah. Reading from verse 1 to 5. Isaiah 38 reading from verse 1 to 5. And in those days was Ezekiah sick unto death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said unto him, Thus said the Lord, set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Then Ezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto the Lord and said, Remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee, who I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Ezekiah wept sore. Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah, saying, Go and say to Ezekiah, Thus said the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, and have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days fifteen years. It is paramount. A fundamental truth as a believer to pray. Thus say the Holy Ghost unto me, prayer begin to restore. And prayer begin to heal, prayer restore, and prayer heals. It is a timeless truth that you already know if you are a Christian for a long time now. But somehow we neglect such great revelation or insight. And in most cases, it is because you don't truly believe. Again, I say, it is because you don't truly believe. If you believe what I am saying, then let us give ourselves to prayer and to the studying of the word that we will be able to know how to pray using the word of God to speak back unto him in prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let us just turn our Bible to the book of Ephesians. Hallelujah. Ephesians 6. Hallelujah. Reading from verse 17 to 18. 
verse 17 to 18, and the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Pray in our ways with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching the unto with all preservation and supplication for all saints. Hallelujah. Bless his holy name. From in the book of Genesis 3, hallelujah, hallelujah, to 8, Genesis 3, verse 8 to 13. Hallelujah. Let us just turn our Bible to the book of Genesis 3. Hallelujah. Reading from verse 8 to 13. And they heard the voice of the Lord going, walking in the garden, in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God. Amongst the trees of the garden, and the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where are thou? And he said, I have heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to me, with me she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It reveals that men from the beginning was in communion with God. And God speak to man. And after the fall of man, because of disobedient to God, known command, sin, that tree, let a word, entered in and it bring with it death. For the wages of sin is death, so it break the fellowship which was there between God and Adam. Hallelujah. Let us look at Genesis 4, verse 26. Genesis 4, reading verse 26. And to set to him also there was born a son. And he called his name Enos. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. We read then man begin to call upon the name of the Lord. That is petition. That is prayer. Man requesting the help of Jehovah. And that's what we are here to do today, tonight, this afternoon, this morning. I speak to you on the topic, prayer changes things. He said, call upon me in the time of trouble and I will. Note that word, I will, I will answer. Again, he said, I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. Know this of a truth. We are gathered unto God, not unto men. We are standing on holy ground right now. Believe the heaven is open. For as it is written, we to a tree are gathered in his name. There he is in their midst. That's quite reassuring to know that you are before the Father of our spirit. The God of all flesh unto whom there is nothing too difficult or hard for him. I speak to you on the topic prayer changes things. Hallelujah. Acts 9. Hallelujah. Reading from 36 to 41. Hallelujah. But you can read that in your own quiet time. Hallelujah. She who was dead, <laughs> hallelujah, this was talking about Darkas, hallelujah, hallelujah, was brought back to life by the power of prayer. In the book of Jeremiah 33, verse 3, hallelujah, said, call upon me in the time of, he said, call upon me, 
And I will answer thee and I will show you great and mighty things that you have not known. So it is ever the Father good pleasure of making known things to come to you things that you have not known for he is the revealer of secret when in a certain place begin to say seek the lord while he may be found call upon him while he is near and i'm so excited to announce that he is just a prayer away from you the scripture said god is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth so let us discover the power of prayer that prayer can and do changes things hallelujah in the book of saint james how uh, james 5 hallelujah reading from verse 13 to 18 hallelujah it says something along this line that the prayer of the righteous man avail it much. The fervent, effectual prayer of the righteous man avail it much. And as it is written, my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. So it's God who, hallelujah, in the beginning have instituted it to be so. You and I know it is written in the scripture stating clearly that we should pray without ceasing pray forevermore man ought to pray and not to faint for god has given us a tool hallelujah to the believers which can be used to their advantage even the gift of tongues has a means to communicate with him for he that speak in an unknown tongue speak not unto men but unto God. For no man understandeth him, albeit in the spirit he speak mystery. For the spirit intercede and make intercession on our behalf. For sometimes we don't know what we are to pray about as we should. But he that search the heart know what the mind of the spirit is. For we make intercession for the saints according to the will of God. I'm speaking about prayer changing things. This is only an exhortation, a word of encouragement for us to get back to basic and to begin to believe again in the awesomeness of prayer. How that is associated with prayer. For when you are connected to heaven, the possibility is endless. For as it is written, Hallelujah, He, meaning the Lord God Almighty, is able to do more exceedingly above all we ask or think according to the power that is at work in us. And the power that is at work in us is the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, that raised the Lord Jesus Christ from the dead. That's what at work in me. So I say, greater is he that is in me than any that is in the world. Hallelujah. Not deviating from the main topic. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the book of 1 Timothy 2. Hallelujah. Reading from verse 1 to 4. Timothy 2. Reading from verse 1. To four. Glory to God. I exhort therefore that first of our supplication and prayer and intercession and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and a peaceable life in all godliness and honesty, for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. So sometimes in most instances we need to shift the focus from me, 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 or me, myself, and I. Hallelujah. For it is when you begin to pray for others' welfare, 
Then you will begin to see the beauty. <laughs> the Lord would have you to see and experience the blessing that comes from giving. For when you pray for others, you are actually giving up your time and asking God to intervene in their lives. We are focusing our attention and prayer changes things. He said before you call, I will answer. And while you yet speaking, I will hear. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that will be a was but in the context of the present tense, that he is, and he's a reward of them that diligently seek him tonight. We are going to prayer. We will come back with a testimony. For testimony is a sign that prayer changes things. Testimony is a sign that you are overcoming the enemy. Testimony, it brings others to Christ. Testimony is a good means of witnessing. Hallelujah. This testimony is to give glory to God.